Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install XAMPP latest version on Windows 11 operating system. Open any browser, search for download XAMPP, then click on the first link that is download XAMPP Apache Friends, that is apachefriends.org. See here, we have downloads for three different operating system types windows linux and os that is mac os so click on this one that is 8.2 php 8.2 so 8.2 is the exam version for php 8.2 click on this download 64 bit it's a size is 148 megabytes click on it See here, it is going to download. See, download has been started. Go to downloads. I have already downloaded the XAMPP. So, I am cancelling this one. In your case, wait until this XAMPP completes. Once download is completed, then click on this XAMPP Windows 64 8.2 VSS VS16 installer.exe. If you receive user control pop up, then you have to click on S. Click on next. See, it is, as a server component, it is going to install Apache, MySQL, FileZilla, FTP server, Mercury Mail server, and Tamcat. Programming languages, it is going to install PHP and Perl. Select all these and click on next. This is the path to store the XAMPP files. Click on next. Select the language. We have only two options. Then click on next. Ready to install. Then click on next. For this Windows Defender firewall has been blocked some features of this app. Click on this allow access. See, see setup has finished installing XAMPP on your computer. If you want to open XAMPP control panel, keep the checkbox as it is and click on finish. Now it will open the control panel. See here, as of now, all these five services are stopped click on the apache if you want to start the web server apache has been started this is the pid of that one and these are the port numbers if you want to start mysql click on mysql once we click on mysql then we will receive the pid and port numbers if you receive the firewall notification click on allow access see the port for mysql is 3306 you want to configure click on this config first one is the editor for exam by default it has selected notepad now once we start apache server apache web server and mysql database then click on this config or admin see this is the php admin console click on databases then give the database name then click on create. See, new database has been added successfully. Expand this one. If you want to create a table, select the database, then provide the table name. Here we have to provide number of columns. I am giving two. Then click on create. Then provide the column names. A, B, C. Type is varchar length 50 then second column name def okay then click on save 
see one table is added to this database the same way if you want to configure apache click on this config then click on explorer then click on hdocs here create a php file hello all dot php it is not actually php file click on view so file name extensions see the file name is text file remove dot txt yes now it is a php file open this file with notepad or vs code or notepad plus i am going with anything is fine type here php then echo welcome to r2 schools then end php code save this file now go to the browser local host port is 80 then give hello old.php see whatever the text we have given here it is updated in apache web server see we change we add another line echo 8 plus 9 put semicolon at the end of the each statement it is best practice now refresh it see output has a written here if we want to change the port numbers click on this config then select the apache httpd.con file scroll down here listen if we change it to 8080 then save it then click on stop and start now go to localhost then give the port number 80 see it won't work because we have changed port number in the config file so we have to give port number 8080 see now if you want to execute that php file then give hello dot php see we got the same output so like this we can change the port number of the apache web server